Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're talking about maybe, probably, the most important ingredient to stock in your Korean food cooking pantry. Gochugaru, or Korean red pepper powder. If you ever want to try making any type of kimchi yourself at home, you need gochugaru. Korean side dishes, also known as banchan, like this delicious zucchini banchan, gochugaru. Spicy pork turuchigi, yes, gochugaru. Tteokbokki, anyone? There's gochugaru in that too. Gochugaru is made from Korean chili peppers that start green and ripen into this gorgeous, vibrant red. Now, you may see many different kinds of gochugaru when you go shopping. If you purchase one with Korean peppers grown in Korea and dried in sunlight, it will probably be noticeably more expensive. The other category you'll see is how finely the powder has been ground. They will most likely have coarse to fine grind. Kimchi making uses coarse leaf ground flakes, and the very finely ground powders are usually for making gochujang paste. Coarse flakes are fine, and we buy them as an all-purpose because you can just give them a go in the blender if you want a finer grind. Now we bought a bag that was on sale at the time. Their peppers grown and processed in China, and the price is very budget-friendly. You can see that one bag of gochugaru filled up two and a half large-sized Ziploc freezer bags and filled up the jam jar we keep in the cupboard for daily use. This much you will last us a year of Korean cooking recipes on a roughly weekly basis. Keep in mind this amount will not last as long if you're regularly making batches of kimchi. Depending on how much you make at any one time, this 5 pound bag may only last you one or two kimchi making sessions. But if you make kimchi sporadically in small batches and cook Korean food only sometimes, this bag is plenty. Store most of it in freezer bags in the freezer and keep out only what you need. It keeps really well this way. The only thing to watch out for, and this goes for any spice in your spice rack, right? Keep it dry and don't handle with wet hands or utensils because then you can get mold. But ours is in the freezer and it's just fine. Gochukaru bags come in different sizes, small to large, so if you're just starting out on your Korean food cooking journey, you might want to start out with the one pound bags, but there are one pound, two pounds, four pounds, five pounds. Hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.